Hi everyone, our subject today is recurrent infection and immune deficiency in pediatrics. Introduction. Healthy children experience 6 to 8 upper respiratory tract infection per year in the first few years of life. However, up to 15 infection per year can still be within normal range. High frequency of infections in the first years of uh, life results from the relative immunologic immaturity of young children and their frequent exposure to respiratory pathogen. Factors such as attendance in the child care and exposure to second-hand smoke may increase the number of infections. In the healthy host, these infections are self-limited occur more frequently in the winter than in other seasons and are associated with period of illness in between illness. Growth and development are normal. Considering that the average duration of viral illness is 7 to 10 days, typically a toddler may be sick for up to 100 days or almost one third of the year. Uh, immune cell as we know, lymphoid cell and myeloid cell, uh, B cell, T cell, natural killer cell, granulocyte. Innate immunity with the rapid response in granulocyte complement and other cells. Adaptive uh, immunity, slow response with the complement T cell and other. Uh, there is uh, interaction between T cell function and B cell function, so defect in any of these will affect the other by uh, any other way. Reasons for referral for uh, suspected immune deficiency. Recurrent serious bacterial infection, sepsis, pneumonia, meningitis. Single serious bacterial infection in the context of failure to thrive. Infection with uh, an opportunistic pathogen, pneumocystis. Uh, cryptococcus uh, species infection, vaccine-associated infection, usually age or for infection, early zoster, unusual age for infection, early zoster, late thrush, unusual severity or chronicity for a given infection, family history of immune deficiency. History and physical examination. Newborn screen result uh, should be noted because an increasing number of uh, states are screening for severe combined immune deficiency. Obtain a detailed history of the frequency and nature of the recurrent infection. High fevers and perulent secretion suggest bacterial infection. Those cases are more likely to warrant consideration of an immune deficiency. Recurrent symptom of a single site suggest allergy or local structure problems, anatomic obstruction, foreign body. For young infant, in depth birth history should be obtained, including exposure to maternal infection, herpes simplex, HIV, a history of delayed uh, umbilical cord separation consistent with the leukocyte adhesion uh, deficiency and risk factor for HIV. If the child was premature, inquire about associated complications like bronchopulmonary dysplasia, blood transfusion. Inquire about any chronic medical problems, condition require indwelling equipment, catheter, shunt, prosthetic device, and condition disturbing the integrity of a mucocutaneous barrier, dermal sinus tract, burn, surgical wounds, some autoimmune disorder, endocrine, rheumatic, can include primary immune deficiency as well. The family history should inquire specifically about immune deficiency disorder as well as allergic disease, unexplained infant death, and risk factor for HIV in family member. The social history should inquire about risk factor for HIV in the patient plus exposure to environmental irritants, smoke, other fumes, animal, chemical, and school or daycare attendance. Inquire about travel and any change in the child routine that may expose the child to a new allergen or infectious contact. A complete physical exam is essential, sign of a chronic disease, lung abnormalities, clubbing, in impaired growth, cutaneous abnormality, and findings suggestive of allergic disease, transverse nasal creases, allergic shiners, posterior pharyngeal cobblestoning, 
swollen pale nasal mucosa should all be carefully noted. Lymphadenopathy suggests a chronic disease, absent lymph tissue, tonsil, lymph node, no thymus on x-ray suggest congenital lymphocyte immune defect. Signs associated with a primary immune deficiency, intractable diarrhea and malabsorption, severe combined immune deficiency, X-linked agammaglobulinemia, and common variable immune deficiency. Rheumatological condition, common variable immune deficiency, IgA deficiency, and X-linked agammaglobulinemia. Hepatosplenomegaly, lymphadenopathy, hyper IgM syndrome. Absence of lymphoid tissue, X-linked agammaglobulinemia, thrombocytopenia in Wiscott Aldrich syndrome, eczema, Wiscott Aldrich syndrome, chronic granulomatous disease and Job syndrome, oculocutaneous albinism, Chidak Higashi syndrome. How to approach to child with the recurrent infection or immune deficiency after performing history and physical examination? Is there suspicion for normal child? Brief history of recurrent upper respiratory tract infection or single prolonged upper respiratory tract infection, daycare or school attendance or patient comes from large family, normal growth and development, normal physical examination, onset of infection consistent with the start of daycare or school, duration of illness 7 to 14 days. If it is, yes, normal child perform complete blood count with differential observation. If there is a normal complete blood count with the spontaneous resolution, this is recurrent upper respiratory tract infection. If it is no abnormal result or there is a suspicion of allergic child or atopic child, is there recurrent respiratory, sinopulmonary symptoms, non-febrile episode, poor response to antibiotic, history of food intolerance, colic or eczema, family history of atopic disease, physical examination finding consistent with the allergies. If it is yes, this is atopic child. Trial of antihistamine and consider allergy evaluation, skin testing, serum allergen specific IgE, complete blood count with differential, spirometry if a frequent cough or wheeze, Clinical assessment or workup consistent with the allergies or positive response to antihistamine or bronchodilator if indicated for cough. If it is yes, this is allergic rhinitis or asthma. If it is no, there is no atopic child. Is there suspicion for suspected underlying chronic disorder, non-immunological chronic disorder like poor growth, failure to thrive, recurrent infection in the same site, chronic systemic illness if it is yes consider work up complete blood count with differential chest x-rays wet uh, test culture of affected side specific evaluation for suspected disorder differential diagnosis structural anomalies acyplenia congenital tracheoesophageal fistula fistula sinus communication a cleft palate urinary tract pulmonary sequestration acyplenia functional bronchopulmonary dysplasia, gastroesophageal reflex, foreign body, pulmonary, nasal, malnutrition, cystic fibrosis, HIV, AIDS, infection, diabetes mellitus, dyskinetic celia syndrome, protein losing, enteropathy, cirrhosis, IV drug abuse, prosthetic devices, heart valves or pacemaker. If uh, there is no suspicion of a chronic underlying disorder, if there is suspicion of immune deficiency, pyogenic infection involving multiple sites, two or more systemic bacterial infection by the age of nine months, failure to thrive or growth failure, unusual pathogen, unexpected severity of infection, infection following a recipient of live vaccine, chronic oral or cutaneous candida infections, chronic diarrhea, patient need uh, preliminary evaluation, complete blood count, manual differential, ESR, C-reactive protein, quantitative IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE, total complements, CH50. If there is suspicion of a humoral antibody defect, onset age between five to seven months after maternal antibody wanes, 
recurrent sinopulmonary infection, sinusitis, pneumonia with fever, otitis media, meningitis, sepsis, chronic diarrhea, skin infection, autoimmune disorder, unusual organisms, lab abnormal immunoglobulin level. If it is yes, patient need additional evaluation, antibody titer to vaccine antigen, diphtheria, tetanus, uh, pneumococcal, and uh, isohemagglutinins. Differential diagnosis, X-linked agamaglobinemia, proton disease, common variable immune deficiency, hyper IgM syndrome, IgA deficiency, combined cellular and humoral disorder, transient hypogammaglobinemia of infancy, hyper IgE syndrome, and specific immunoglobulin deficiency. If it is no, is there suspicion for cellular or combined defect? Onset in the first several months of life, severe viral infections with the respiratory syncytial virus, parainfluenza, cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr virus, adenovirus, fungal opportunistic infection, failure to drive, chronic diarrhea, congenital heart disease, absence of lymphadenopathy with the infection, ataxia, lab lymphopenia and thrombocytopenia. If it is abnormal, patient need additional evaluation for HIV. Delayed hypersensitivity skin test with the candida, tetanus, mumps, trichophyton, TCL level with the helper and suppressor, suppressor ratio. Differential diagnosis, severe combined immune deficiency, Dijord syndrome, ataxia telangiectasia, Wiscott Aldrich syndrome, hyper IgE syndrome, cartilage hair hypoplasia, HIV infection, and secondary immune deficiency. If it is normal, is there suspicion for phagocytic cell disorder? Is there skin infection, abscesses, cellulitis, lymphadenopathy, lymphadenitis, deep-seated infections like osteomyelitis, hepatic or pulmonary abscesses, pulmonary aspergillosis, recurrent pneumonia, oral lesion, gingivitis, ulcer, abscesses due to unusual pathogen, history of delayed umbilical cord separation, poor wound healing, open sores with the scant pus, unexplained systemic symptom, fever, malaise, fatigue, lab abnormal uh, NA, uh, ANC, high or low. If it is abnormal, if neutropenia present, see pr uh, previous lecture of neutropenia. Refer for immunology for uh, CD11, CD18 expression to exclude leukocyte adhesion deficiency and uh, respiratory burst assay, differential diagnosis, leukocyte adhesion deficiency, chronic granulomatous disease, Chidak Higashi syndrome, cyclic neutropenia, complement deficiency, other pathophagocytic uh, disorder and complement disorder. If it is normal, uh, as a normal result, is there suspicion for complement disorder, systemic nasiria infection, sepsis, meningitis, recurrent infection with the encapsulated bacteria, otitis media, bacteremia, pneumonia, lab abnormal CH15 result, CH15, uh, sorry, CH50, CH50 a classical pathway, if abnormal, refer for testing to identify specific complement symptoms uh, component, this is complement deficiency. Genetics. The immune deficiency are generally autosomal recessive, although there are several important exceptions. X-linked properdin deficiency, X-linked agamaglobulinemia, X-linked hyper IgM, X-linked severe combined immune deficiency, X-linked chronic granulomatous disease, X-linked lymphoproliferative syndrome, two, uh, type 2, uh, two types, sorry, IPEX, Wiscott Aldrich syndrome, NEMO deficiency, all of these have autosomal recessive uh, phenocopies or may be seen in female with the altered X inactivation. Autosomal dominant, hyper IgE syndrome, chromosome 22Q11.2 deletion, Ty George. Some macrophage activation defect. Polygenic, IgA deficiency, and common variable immune deficiency. 
Many children with recurrent respiratory symptoms have allergies. Usually, the diagnosis is made clinically. Although usually unnecessary, antigen-specific immunoglobulin panel as IgE and skin testing are the most sensitive tests to identify allergens. Other labs are not recommended. Both eosinophilia and total IgE level are non-specific. Up to half of allergic patients have normal IgE level. Humoral immune deficiency. In B-cell or antibody production defects, the onset of frequent infection tend to occur after the age 5 to 7 months, when productive maternal antibody titers are wanes. Infections tend to be caused by encapsulated organisms, Streptococcus pneumonia, H. influenza type B, group A streptococci. Fungal and viral infections are less common, although severe enteroviral infections like encephalitis do occur. Other clinical characteristics consistent with the B-cell defect include reduced or absent tonsil and lymph node, which occur in X-linked agammaglobulinemia and X-linked hyper-IgM syndrome. In contrast, a large lymph node and spleen occur in common variable immune deficiency and autosomal recessive hyper-IgM syndrome. Cutaneous abnormality, absent eyebrows, thin hair, severe eczema, refractory candidal infection after four months of age, petechiae, vitiligo, recurrent warts, severe mollascum may also be close to antibody production defect. Abnormal lung function may suggest pneumonia or bronchiectasis, suggesting a chronic pulmonary infection. Digital clubbing may also occur. X-linked lymphoproliferative uh, syndrome, four main types of presentation and two genetic types. Acute Wittenberg virus infection with the hemophagocytosis, lymphoma, hypogammaglobulinemia, and aplastic anemia. Family history is the key to diagnosis. Hyper-IgE syndrome, recurrent infection of the skin and lungs. Staph aureus is a major cause of infection and pulmonary infection. Starting in infancy, typically heal with the nematocele. Characteristic facial feature and suffer from recurrent cold abscesses without inflammation. IgE levels are extremely high and T-cell and phagocytic function are also affected. X-linked agammaglobulinemia, or Broton disease, is an X-linked recessive disorder of severe hypogammaglobulinemia or agammaglobulinemia. Marked decrease immunoglobulin and B-cell. Affected infants usually present with a recurrent bacterial infection, otitis media, sinusitis, pneumonia, meningitis, around age of six months. Occasionally, a child may remain asymptomatic for a longer period, up to two years. These children have marked hypoplasia of the lymphoid tissue on physical examination. The hyper-IgM syndrome encompasses a number of genetically and clinically heterogeneous disorder characterized by a defect that prevent B-cell from switching from the production of IgM to other antibody classes, IgG, IgA, E. Most are characterized by absent or low IgG and IgA and normal or increased IgM usually present with the recurrent bacterial infection in infancy. Pneumocystis GROVC is seen. Intermittent neutropenia is common. Common variable immune deficiency is a group of disorder characterized by severe hypogammaglobulinemia, most commonly arise in the second or third decay, but seen at all ages. Autoimmune is common. It is often associated with the sprue-like syndrome with diarrhea, protein-losing enteropathy, and failure to thrive. Chronic respiratory infection are the most common manifestation. Giardia infection is also common. These children have low circulating level of IgG, IgM, and IgA, but normal or increased number of BCL. IgA deficiency, most common congenital immune deficiency, 1 to 500, 
most are asymptomatic, may have anaphylaxis from blood products. Affected children may be asymptomatic or have recurrent respiratory, GIT, and urogenital tract infection. Autoimmune disease, celiac disease, systemic lupus erythematosus may also be associated. Transient hypogammaglobulinemia of infancy between age uh, 4 and 9 months of life, developmental delay of uh, Ig production function is intact, typically resolved between 1 and 2 years of age. When prolonged or severe, recurrent viral and pyogenic infection may occur. The number of B cell and T cell is normal and the infant responds appropriately to immunization even though their immunoglobulin level remain low until age 12 to 36 months. IgG subclass deficiency, normal immunoglobulin level but with impaired antibody response to polysaccharide antigen, clinical significance not well delineated, the total IgG level is usually normal. T-cell defect. Because B-cell function influences T-cell function, T-cell disorder will always be accompanied by some degree of B-cell dysfunction. Infection tend to be due to organisms that are typically considered opportunistic, viruses, fungi, protozoa, or less virulent and typical begin within the first several months of life. Other clinical features that should raise the suspicion for TCL dysfunction include cutaneous abnormality, absence of hair, nail, sweating, neonatal rashes, severe diaper rash, oral candidiasis, eczema, telangiectasia, petechia, absence of lymphadenopathy with the infection, and severe reaction infection in response to live virus vaccine. Titani and abnormal facies, faces may be present in DiGeorge syndrome. Severe combined immune deficiency, most common presentation is respiratory virus that fail to clear or chronic diarrhea. Growth is initially normal, but wasting typically occur after septum onset in the first few months of life. Failure to thrive, thrush and pneumocystis gyrovici pneumonia are also common, both B cell and T cell deficiency present, include a variety of disorders that have multiple modes of inheritance present early in life within first three months of age with the recurrent or severe infection with all type of pathogen. Most common 50% from uh, form is X-linked thymic hypoplasia. Cartilage hair hypoplasia with a certain form of severe combined immune deficiency at increased risk for a graft versus host disease with a red blood cell transfusion. Chromosome 22Q11.2 deletion syndrome, DiGeorge syndrome, clinically variable increased viral and fungal infection, abnormal development of the branchial pouch resulting in thymic hypoplasia, the parathyroid gland, face, ear, aortic arch, hypocalcemia, hypoparathyroidism, and heart are also affected. Diagnosis is usually made early in life based on congenital heart defect. The immune deficiency is related to inadequate thymic function, the total lymphocyte count may range from very low to normal, but T cell levels are usually depressed. Immunoglobulin level may be normal, but antibody exposure to antigen is abnormal. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, multiple form of this disorder. One form is also called autoimmune polyendocrinopathy candidiasis ectodermal dysplasia dystrophy and has an associated with the polyendocrinopathy and ectodermal dysplasia. The other types are more likely to have an associated T-cell defect. Infants have extensive or recurrent candida infection, modest presentation to other infection. 
IPEX, Immune Deficiency, Polyendocrinopathy, Enteropathy, X-Linked Syndrome, Diarrhea associated with the villus atrophy and T-cell infiltrate, Progressive autoimmune destruction of the endocrine organ. Infection can be severe, but the autoimmune manifestation predominate. Ataxia telangiectasia is an autosomal recessive disorder, decreased IgA level, recurrent sinopulmonary infection, truncal ataxia, mental retardation, thymic hypoplasia, telangiectasia of the skin and conjunctiva, glucose intolerance, and increased risk for malignancy. The, presentation symptom, the presenting symptom is usually ataxia beginning between 3 and 6 years of age, progressive cerebellar ataxia during infancy, ocular telangiectasia at about 5 to 15 years of age, alpha fetoprotein is elevated, IgG2 is diminished, absence of IgA is the most common immune abnormality and IgE is also low. Wiscott Aldridge syndrome is an X-linked recessive disorder characterized by abnormal lymphocyte, platelet, and phagocytes. Patient experience severe eczema, bleeding due to small platelet and thrombocytopenia, and recurrent infections with the encapsulated bacteria and opportunistic pathogen. Immunoglobulin level vary. IgG is usually slightly low or normal. IgA and IgE are elevated and IgM is decreased. Patient demonstrate abnormal response to some antigen but no response to polysaccharide antigen, pneumococcal vaccine, H influenza type B vaccine. T cell level and the helper suppressor ratio are normal but their function is abnormal. Neutrophil defect, defect in the phagocytic immunity autoimmune neutropenia of infancy, most common neutrophil defect of childhood, usually detected at 6 to 12 months of age, often resolved by 2 years of age. Congenital neutropenia, infection may be skin infection or sinopulmonary, patients have either uh, persistently absent or markedly low neutrophil count, some patients will have 21-day cycle of neutropenia, cyclic neutropenia. Leukocyte adhesion deficiency is characterized by neutrophilia but diminished inflammatory response. Autosomal recessive, 10% have delayed separation of the umbilical uh, cord. The most common presentation are recurrent skin ulcer and periodontitis. Spontaneous peritonitis occur recurrent bacterial infection and necrotic skin lesion. These patients are susceptible to infection with the staph aureus, enteric gram negative pathogen, and opportunistic pathogen. Leukocytosis with the absence of neutrophil at infectious site, severe gingivitis with the early loss of teeth, impaired migration and phagocytic function result in infection without typical sign of inflammation, erythema, warmth, swelling. Chronic granulomatous disease, recurrent skin abscess, common deep hepatic abscesses, osteomyelitis and pulmonary infection, eczema, lymphadenopathy, and hepatosplenomegaly. Typical organism are catalase positive microorganism, Staphylococcus aureus, Porcoderia, Serratia, Nocardia, Mycobacteria, Aspergillus, and Candida are ingested but not killed owing to defect in oxidative function. Age of onset is usually 1 to 3 year or as late as young adulthood, often X-linked. Granuloma develop occasionally with the obstructive complication can occur. Chidak Hidyashi syndrome, autosomal recessive, recurrent pyogenic infection with organisms similar to those seen in chronic granulomatous disease, ocular albinism, uh, lymphoreticular malignancy, neutrophil have abnormal large granules, pigmentary dilution, progressive neuropathy, and frequent infection associated with the 
hemophagocytic process tendency to life-threatening histocytosis can also occur. Bleeding time is usually prolonged. The presence of large melanosomes in uh, melanocyte can confirm the diagnosis. Neutrophil count are low and neutrophil have giant inclusions. Job syndrome, recurrent sinopulmonary infections and skin abscesses, eczema, red hair, coarse faces, high IgE level. Familial hemophagocytic lymphohistocytosis, defect in cytotoxic function present with fever, pancytopenia, and uh, hepatosplenomegaly, usually below five years of age. Innate defect, typically present with a severe bacterial or viral infection in early infancy, IRAK4 and MyD88 deficiencies associated with the staphylococcal, streptococcal, or pseudomonas sepsis, meningitis, clostridial infection are also seen. Herpes simplex encephalitis is associated with severe several gene defects, ectodermal dysplasia with the immune deficiency, two forms, variable ectodermal dysplasia and variable immune deficiency. Immunoglobulin level are variable as are responses to vaccines. Susceptibility to mycobacteria, pneumocystis, and common bacterial pathogen. Macrophage activation defect, universal associated with the atypical mycobacteria, salmonella, is also seen. Biopsy may reveal poorly formed granuloma. Complement deficiency, deficiency of C5 to C9 are associated with the Neisseria infection. Deficiency of C1, C2, and C4 are associated with lupus and recurrent bacterial infection. C3 deficiency associated with the glomerulonephritis and severe recurrent infection. Defect in complement regulatory protein are associated with the atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome or hereditary angioedema. Congenital deficiency of all the uh, component of the complement uh, cascade have been described. A deficiency of C1 esterase inhibitor is associated with hereditary angioedema. Appropriate specimen handling is critical to obtain accurate result in complement testing. Secondary immune deficiency include the following. Structural or anatomic uh, defects cleft palate, congenital heart defect, uh, pulmonary sequestration are risk factor for recurrent local infection. Malnutrition, chronic illness, and protein losing enteropathy altered immune function. Growth may or may not be normal depending on the specific condition. Suggestive finding of physical examination include abnormal lung examination, digital clubbing, abdominal distension, hepatosplenomegaly, muscle wasting, and pallor. Secondary defects of the immune system include the complement system may develop owing to problems such as HIV infection, splenic dysfunction, malignancy, immune suppression due to chemotherapy or transplantation, and various causes of neutropenia. Congenital asplenia may occur as part of syndrome in association with the congenital heart disease. Functional asplenia occur in children with the sickle cell disease. Whole jolly body and bited uh, or pocket erythrocytes on the peripheral blood smear suggest asplenia. Asplenic child children are at especially high risk for infection by pneumococci and H. influenza as well as Salmonella, Staphylococcus aureus, gram-negative enteric bacilli, and meningococci. Children who have undergone surgical splenectomy are also at an increased risk for serious bacterial infection, although their risk may be slightly lower because of the previous development of opsonizing antibodies. The test for titer to vaccine antigen will assess a response to protein, tetanus, diphtheria, and polysaccharide pneumococcal antigen. Repeat immunization and follow-up titer are generally recommended when titer are low. Response pattern need to be interpreted with the consideration of patient age, 
children aged two years do not respond well to polysaccharide antigen. Global immune deficiency are suggested by lack of response to both protein and polysaccharide. A poor response to polysaccharide antigen only suggests less severe selective IgG subclass deficiency. Isohemoglutinitis antibody to RBC antigen are natural anti-polysaccharide antibodies. Their absence also indicates a defect of antibody production, but they are not reliable present in the first one to two years of life, and they are not present in all ch in, uh, at all in children with an uh, AB blood type. One Cavent to remember that evaluation antibody titer is that protein losing state in neuropathy, nephrosis, and corticosteroid use may cause low IgG level even though antibody production capacity is normal. Prognosis Most antibody deficiency have an excellent prognosis. Transient or developmental deficiency of IgG or IgG subclasses typically resolved by two years of age. Some patients with common variable immune deficiency can develop malignancy or autoimmune disease, and this defines the prognosis. The treatment of neutrophil disorder remains problematic. Most children with the chronic granulomatous disease will not have full life expectancy. Patient with T-cell disorder for whom bone marrow transplantation is not performed can do well if the defect is mild and if they do not suffer from autoimmune disease, malignancy, or recurrent infection. Question, does a child with a thrush require evaluation? Answer, a child with a severe thrush in the absence of risk factor should have an evaluation for T-cell dysfunction, HIV, and possibility of chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis of childhood. Moderate thrush or recurrent simple thrush does not require evaluation unless it is occurring in an older child. Question, a newborn in my practice still has uh, his umbilical cord attached at six weeks of age. Is that abnormal and does it require an evaluation for leukocyte adhesion deficiency? Answer, a complete healthy appearing cord at six weeks of life does uh, not require any evaluation. If there is a clinical suspicion of leukocyte adhesion deficiency, a complete blood count can be performed to identify neutrophilia. Which immune deficiency are associated with the Epsom tonsil and adenoid? Answer, boys with the X-linked agamoglobulinemia and X-linked hyper-IgM have absent tonsil and adenoid. Which immune deficiency is associated with the abscesses that are not painful? Answer, children and adults with the hyper-IgE syndrome develop abscesses that are not painful. Thank you for your listening.